But we do start this morning with breaking news from our ABC 7 Alert Center. Overnight, a rock wall collapse caused serious damage to multiple apartments and left 20 people displaced this morning. First responders say it happened at the 3500 block of Sun Bull Drive in West El Paso near UTEP. And that's where we find Good Morning El Paso's Will Heron, who's live at the scene with more. Will, what can you tell us? Thank you, Sam. Now, according to the fire department, around 1 a.m. is when the rock wall did collapse. I'm going to step out of the way so you guys can see just exactly where it happened. Now, it took place there in the corner where you can see those people kind of moving there and that top left. The fire department added that the wall collapsed down on multiple apartments, around 20 people who lived within them. Officials say, though luckily, no one was transported to the hospital due to the incident. The Red Cross showed up on the scene in order to aid those that had been displaced. The problem out here, though, isn't the collapse of the wall, but a gas line that was ruptured. We spoke to a man who was unable to return to his home and believes the rains have caused the collapse. We heard this loud noise above our head, and there's a second, you know, floor up above. And uh, we thought the roof caved in up above, not our roof, but the roof on the second floor. Now you can definitely smell a strong odor of gas here in the area. When we know more about what's going on, we'll definitely update you here. Now, out here at the apartment complex, the El Dorado, near UTEP, I'm Will Heron, ABC7. All right, thank you, Will. Now let's get your first forecast with ABC7 Storm Tracker, Nicole Gomez. Good morning, Brianna, and good morning, everyone. That first alert remains in effect, and here's what I am tracking. The potential heavy rain threat potential, I should say. Now we did see so much rain overnight that the grounds are saturated. Any more rain, now that could lead to flash flooding. I do want to remind you not to drive into any flooded roadways because we'll still have the chance to see rain for the rest of the day today into at least Sunday morning. But there's our live look at StormTrack Doppler radar. We're not seeing any heavy rain right now, at least in the El Paso area. Central El Paso, northeast and the west side of town. But as we travel over to the Fabens, we're seeing the tail end of that rain move through and track it in easterly direction. Also have heavier rain around Holloman Air Force Base, Dog Canyon Estates, and most of that is working its way in a northerly direction. So over the past 24 hours around northeast El Paso, an inch and a half. This is around Painted Dunes Golf Course, Andrus High School and around Liberty Avenue, William Beaumont Army Medical Center, about an inch of rainfall fell there. But in your extended forecast, I will be talking about what you can expect for the rest of your Saturday and recap the rainfall totals that we did see overnight. All right, Nicole, thank you. If we could pull up our traffic cams.